I believe in America. America has made my fortune, and I raised my daughter in the American fashion. I gave her freedom, but I taught her never to dishonor her family. She found a boyfriend, and an Italian. She went to the movies with him. She stayed out late. I didn't protest. Two months ago, he took her for a drive with another boyfriend. They made her drink whiskey, and then they tried to take advantage of her. She resisted. She kept her honor. So they beat her like an animal. When I went to the hospital, her nose was broken. Her jaw was shattered, held together by wire. She couldn't even weep because of the pain. But I wept. Why did I weep? She was the light of my life. Beautiful girl. Now she will never be beautiful again. <coughs> Sorry. I, I went to the police like a good American. These two boys were brought to trial. The judge sentenced them to three years in prison and suspended the sentence. Suspended the sentence? They went free that very day. I stood in the courtroom like a fool. And those two bastards, they smiled at me. Then I said to my wife, for justice, we must go to Don Corleone. Why didn't you go to the police? Why didn't you come to me first? What do you want of me? Tell me anything. What do what I beg you to do? What is that? each other many years, but this is the first time you ever came to me for counsel for help. I can't remember the last time that you invited me to your house for a cup of coffee. Even though my wife is godmother to your only child. But let's be frank, you, you never wanted my friendship. And uh, you were afraid to be in my debt. I didn't want to get into trouble. I understand. You found paradise in America. You had a good trade, made a good living. Police protected you, and there were courts of law. And you didn't need a friend like me. But uh, now you come to me and you say, Don Corleone, give me justice. But you don't ask for respect. You don't offer friendship. You don't even think to call me Godfather. Instead, you come into my house on the day my daughter's to be married, and you ask me to do murder for money. I ask you for justice. That is not justice. Your daughter is still alive. Let him suffer, then, as she suffers. How much shall I pay you? What have I ever done to make you treat me so disrespectfully? If you had come to me in friendship, 
and the scum that ruined your daughter would be suffering this very day. And if by chance an honest man like yourself should make enemies, then he would become my enemies. And then they would fear you. Be my friend. Godfather. Good. Someday, and that day may never come, I'll call upon you to do a service for me. But uh, until that day, accept this justice as a gift on my daughter's wedding day. Gracias. Gracias. Really? Uh, give this to uh, Clemenza. I want reliable people, people that aren't going to be carried away. I mean, we're not murderers, in spite of what this uh, undertaker says. 